Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Reese M5 fifth wheel trailer hitch for the Ford towing prep package. And this has a 32,000 pound weight capacity. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2011 and newer Ford F250, F350, and the F450 Super Duty trucks that have the factory installed towing prep package. And this will also work with the Reese Elite Series aftermarket underbed fifth wheel rails. And because it's a custom fit part, I do like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this fifth wheel hitch mounts in your truck bed so that you can tow your fifth wheel trailer. It is a very fast, easy installation into your truck. The legs are basically designed to just drop right into the four receivers pucks that are built into your factory installed underbed rails. Basically, I just want to show you how you do that. <clears throat> So on this side, if you'll notice, you have this linchpin that you'll just take the linchpin out. And then you'll notice these handles that you'll just rotate out 90 degrees, just like that. And you'll notice when you rotate those handles, it rotates these tabs at the bottom. And you'll do that on this side. And then on the other side, you'll do the same way. <clears throat> open these handles up. Once they're all the way open like this, you can drop the whole hitch into the pucks, the factory pucks that are in your truck bed. Once these tabs drop into those pucks, you just rotate this handle back, rotate this handle back, and that rotates that, locks it to the pucks in the truck bed. Put your linchpin back in there to hold it in place, and you'll do that same on the other side. So once you get them all hooked in there, you're all ready to go. <clears throat> this is a nice sturdy steel construction, has a nice durable powder coat finish to it. Now the handle, the jaw, the latches down here, they all have a zinc plating, which will help resist corrosion. And the head on this is a nice fully articulating head. You can see it goes front to back. It'll also go side to side. And it has a nice, nice extra large landing area, which will ease hook up, help limit chucking. Right here you can see it has a nice open V notch. That makes it very easy to target the kingpin as you're backing up. And it offers a nice built-in shock dampening technology to absorb any road shock. The jaw on this, it uses a nice single piece, always ready talon jaw that'll wrap around the kingpin to ensure proper connection. That design will offer superior jaw to kingpin contact to give you maximum security and minimum rattle. The handle that'll operate that jaw you can see is a nice ergonomic, easy to reach handle to let you secure the trailer to the hitch. Comes with the pin and clip right here <clears throat> that you drop through the hole here to lock the handle into place. Now the hole is large enough, you could actually put a padlock through there if you want added security to keep anybody from messing with it, but it does come with this tethered pin and clip. <clears throat> Now one of the best features I want to mention on this M5 hitch is the jaw is also ready to receive at all times so you don't need to use the handle to open it before backing up towards your trailer. Lots of times on some fifth wheels you got to get out, unlock, the, pull the handle, unlock the jaw, hook up, go back. This one, as long as you have the pin and clip out of there, your handle's all ready to go, the jaw's ready to receive at any time. <clears throat> Just to show you what we're talking about, I want to show you how you'd hook up to the fifth wheel. I got an example. Here's a kingpin, what a kingpin would look like on your fifth wheel. What I want to mention first is we'll show you if I spin this around, it offers this tow and no tow indicator on the back of the hitch head and it's visible from inside the cab or from the side of the truck. But if you'll notice the color right here, it's a red color. That's telling you that it's not ready to tow. There's no kingpin in there, so you're not ready to go. So just by sitting in your truck bed and turning around, you can see that color. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you when you hook up. This is your kingpin. So your kingpin, when you're backing up to hook up to your fifth wheel, will slide right in. And once it slides in far enough, you'll hear that jaw go completely around there to hold it into place. And you can see it doesn't really allow it to move. It securely holds it. Your handle goes back into place. The holes line up. You can get your pin and clip now, <clears throat> drop it through the hole, clip it to keep that handle from opening up, and now you're all ready to go. And the thing I also want to show you is we'll spin it back around, and if you look at that tow, no tow indicator, it's showing all green, which means you're ready to tow. So that'll safely let you know that you hooked up correctly and you're ready to go. Now this hitch does offer a high pin lockout, which will ensure proper engagement. Basically, the jaw has an internal plate on it that'll keep the kingpin here from entering if it's too high to enter safely. So as a result, that kingpin indicator 
will only change from red to green back here if that kingpin is fully engaged in the jaw. Lots of times if you go in, it's too high and it doesn't fully engage. You won't know that unless you run into a problem. But here, just by looking at those colors, will tell you you're ready to go. Also on the side, I wanted to show you, when you go to tow a fifth wheel, you do want to tow with your tow vehicle as level as possible. So you might have to do some vertical hitch height adjustment to it. And they let you do that by when you attach your legs. So basically, now hitch height is always measured from the truck bed to the top of the hitch head. <clears throat> so what you want to do is when you go to apply, install your legs here to the side here, there's three rows of holes. So it's going to give you a four inch range, vertical range of hitch height adjustment. Anywhere from if you go to the top row, that'll give you a 14 inch hitch height. Right now we have it in the middle row, that's 16 inch hitch height. The bottom row is going to be 18 inch hitch height. So depending on what you need for your application, you'll bolt your legs to the correct row you need. A few specs on this, again the gross towing weight capacity is 32,000 pounds. And the last thing I want to show you is just how to unhitch from this. So when you go to unhitch again, all you have to do is pop your pin and clip. <coughs> And then all you have to do is rotate your handle. Again, pull it out, rotate it to the back, and it moves very easily. So even if there's gonna be tension, sometimes on a fifth wheel, you'll get a lot of tension on the kingpin. It'll be hard to open it up to release it. This one, no matter what, it'll release, release, the, release the tension real easily. Just slide it open like that. And then as you pull away, it'll pull out just like that. And then your handle goes right back into the ready to receive position and you're ready to go. Simple as that. But that should do it for the review on this Reese M5 fifth wheel trailer hitch for the Ford towing prep package. And this has a 32,000 pound weight capacity.